In this video, we are going to test the heartbeat sensor circuit using an application or a program that called Protus 8 Professional. This application or this program allow us to uh, simulate the circuit that we have connected and see if the circuit is working or not. So right here, I have connected the circuit using this application and right here uh, we have connected the circuit of the heartbeat sensor we have right here is the power supply a 9 volt battery or any uh, power supply that uh, supply the circuit with uh, the circuit with 9 volt uh, 9 volts dc okay and we have right here is the led that told us if the heart is beating or not and uh, uh, we have right here is the heartbeat sensor right here we have the IR LED and the uh, photodiode receiver so these two are connected in one uh, a one package together and if we connect to the IR LED a direct uh, current that means that the IR LED will uh, transmit the light or transmit the IR uh, light to the photodiode directly so we have uh, so we must uh, connect to the IR LED a switch to control the passage or the transmission of the infrared uh, light from the IR LED to the photodiode uh, to the photodiode receiver so Right here, uh, you must know that these are two components that exist in real life separately. But in this application, they are, they are exist in one package. Okay, and we connect to the IR LED a resistance to, uh, to uh, in series with the IR LED, so that we need to uh, uh, connect to the IR LED at two and a half volts and we have right here is a nine volts battery so we must lower the voltage using an uh, resistance okay and we have right here is a 10 kilo uh, ohm resistance connected to the photodiode and we have right here is a filter an rc filter if we could uh, if we remember the filters of the that we have explained in the previous lectures we have right here is the low pass filter connection we have an uh, resistance and a capacitor that are connected together in series the same idea we have right here is a capacitor and a resistance that are connected together in series and we took from it the output to the amplifier so that means that the signal comes from the photodiode and then get filtered using the RC filter and after that uh, the signal goes to the amplifier we have right here an amplifier LM358 uh, this amplifier has uh, these pins uh, we have right here the pin number three and the pin number two are the inputs and we have uh, right here the pin number four and the pin number eight is the uh, supply pins and right here pin number one is the output okay so if we can remember remember the connection of the amplifier from the previous lectures we have right here is uh, two connections of the operational amplifier and inverting operational amplifier and non-inverting operational amplifier we are going to connect the circuit in non-inverting operational amplifier method okay because we do not want to invert our uh, signal we want to the signal to get high and high to uh, read it and to uh, see if the uh, heart is uh, beating or not so uh, we right here have an RF okay and RN right okay so the RF is connected between the negative terminal of the operational amplifier and the output terminal right here is the same thing we have an RF is connected to the output okay and the negative terminal of the operational amplifier the RN is connected uh, from the negative terminal of the operational amplifier to the ground we have the same thing right here the RN is connected from the negative terminal of the operational amplifier to the ground and the ground is connected to the negative terminal of the battery 
and this capacitor is for filtering uh, the signal that comes out from the um, the operational amplifier right here we have the led that uh, that is connected to the output of the uh, amplifier and we have connected a 330 ohms uh, resistance uh, to uh, lower the voltage that comes out from the amplifier because the voltage the maximum voltage that comes out from the amplifier is 9 volts because we connect this amplifier with a supply with 9 volts so we must lower the voltage using this uh, resistance or this resistor to uh, to uh, allow the current or to uh, give the LED a 2.2 or 2.2 uh, approximately voltage ac across the pins of the LED and uh, let's get started with the simulation of this circuit first of all if you like to uh, use this application or program learn how to use this application or program to uh, simulate your circuit and see if the circuit is really working or not before you connect the circuit on any port or anything and also you can learn how to uh, solder or weld your circuit in a real circuit board in a real physical board uh, uh, on a PCB board, printed circuit board, you can check the other courses that I have got on Udemy. So uh, you will see a course that uh, will allow you to learn the PCB, uh, the principle of PCB manufacturing and the usage of uh, Protus 8 Professional. This is uh, the name of the application that we use to uh, simulate the circuit to see it if is uh, if the circuit is working or not so let's get started by simulating this circuit and hit the play button right here and right here we have the LED and the LED is not working because the uh, there isn't any uh, pulse that exists on the uh, package or in, on the IR LED IR uh, IR package okay so right here if we opened the switch if we open the switch that means that we have put it our hand so that means that uh, there isn't any uh, infrared light that going to pass through the IR LED and the photodiode like this and right here we have the LED that is uh, working okay so this is the circuit of a uh, heartbeat sensor. In the next lecture, I'm going to show you how to connect the circuit uh, using a real component, a physical components, and uh, using um, the capacitors and the resistors and the amplifier and all of these components using a breadboard. And we are going to connect it on this breadboard and see if the circuit is working on uh, the real life or not okay so that's it in this lecture thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the next lecture